So thanks for coming and approaching me to find out about Society 5.0. I'm just fascinated with your background. You're from, do we pronounce it Sudan? Sudan, yeah. You're not wanting to be on camera because of your identity as a peacemaker shouldn't be publicized, but I appreciate you allowing me to interview you a little bit and because I have no comprehension of what it would be like growing up in a war torn country. So, and what was it like growing up with in war? There are two ways that you grow up in the war. What I learned, this is my own learning. Mm. One way is to live through the war as a holy thing that you are protecting your country, you are fighting for God, and, yeah. and you are protecting your people. That gives you the drive to become that hero. Um, have that idea of yourself that you are a hero by going and, and, and causing destruction and killing other people. Um, that's one way. The other way is to question the very idea of war. Why or how did we get here? Um, I was in between the two. Because I, I don't want to say that I made the best choice. Mm. Because I was young. I learned that I had to protect my people. Yeah. Um, we had uh, we had an Islamic government mm. who wanted to run us through the Sharia law and the law of God and on things that they tried to enforce on us. So I did feel that by protecting my land and my mm. people from those people, I'm doing something good. Did you have a lot of fear as a kid, child growing up? Were you scared? Yeah, all it, it, it's it's not just fear or it's, um, it, it's a number of things together that you can't just call it one name. Um, you feel scared because you feel um, that something might happen at any time. Yeah. For you, but other people also. Yeah. Your loved ones. Um, there is also poverty, because in war there is poverty, you don't have access to resources. Mm. There's the question of where where, where we're going. Yeah. Um, so there are so many things that rush through the mind. Um, but for me, my goal was more, more about moving forward and pushing these people away from our neighborhood. We couldn't think beyond that. There was uh -huh. there was no way you could think beyond that. Yeah. Because that's that's what the their very existence is just wrong. Yeah. Because we have a culture, uh, my culture is a very old culture and I didn't appreciate someone trying to introduce a different culture to me mm. by force. Mm. But again, I'm not sure what I was thinking at that time because I was young. Last question would be, are you, on reflection, I assume you had to shut down your emotions to control them because it was just be too painful, too much horrendous suffering and death to actually, so you would have shut down your emotions. Yes, yes, it was, um, yeah, it, it just, it was just wrong to have any type of emotion. Oh, yeah, wow. Because if you have emotion, if you feel, then you're weak. That's, that, that, that's the, Oh, that's the main assumption. Wow. You have to be strong. I'm part of 
strength is not to fail. And that, that yeah. is the most damaging thing that could happen to someone. Yeah, wow, that's really interesting because in society now or western world that i'm more familiar with there's an increased vulnerability and there was a situation in fact this morning where i apologized to somebody and i felt a few tears while i was on the phone today and because he's a leader that i deal with a lot as a male he is I wondered whether he might think that I am weak by having a few tears when I apologized for for getting forcing change which he didn't didn't like the way I forced change and so but I never it's only through growing trust in myself that I'm okay to feel a little bit emotional when I apologize well perhaps I didn't do it the right way and admitting so it's really interesting about traditionally in New Zealand strength is about being, being tough. tough being tough and not feeling yeah. yeah yeah and that that doesn't help because because we become those people who are quick to anger quick to to um we just react mm. the same way and it doesn't help the problem will just start yeah it will just get worse because um, because we 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 have this emotional part of us we we just shut down yes and that that is just um, yes yeah well I've heard stories only last week about my grandfather and my great grandfather what life was like and there there just wasn't emotion shared. There was just in, in that whole generations, it was just normal. You didn't talk about emotions, you, you're stoic. And that's just everyone back in the time were like that. And so, yeah, it's fascinating how, yeah, in a war, you have to do that because, yeah, otherwise it's too painful and you would probably go out of control. So, all right, well, we could talk probably forever about this, but I just was fascinated to understand more about your upbringing and what life is like. And it's only the start of the conversation. We will have more conversations in the future. Yeah.